ladies and gentlemen, the doctors are baffled over the fact that this man's head swelled up after being on the beach for a day. So, man stuns doctors after developing a swollen head after a day at beach. Boy, that sun sure can do wonders, can it? It can burn your skin. People end up with those big pus balls, second and third degree burns. The sun now can swell your head. I'm not surprised. It gives you skin cancer. It does a lot of things. Can really do it a lot of damage. And it can target specific people. So the condition was a head scratcher for doctors. So this man was in Turkey stunned medical teams when his head randomly began swelling to a concerning degree after spending time on the beach. And this was in Turkey on August 23rd. So on the third day, Kanner Arik, 33, at Istanbul Center, call center worker. So he's a call center worker. He went on vacation by the Black Sea. And that is in the northern region. And spotted the swelling and distortion of his facial features. And rushed to seek medical attention. So... They're pretty much saying for something like this to happen is extremely rare. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. His scalp was suffering from an extremely rare condition. One rarely seen beyond a person's feet or hands. Called heat edema. Heat edema. Heat edema. Wow. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen heat edema. So this is according to the doctors that saw him. Wow. Yeah, you can definitely tell his head is swollen. Wow. So, um, the Turkish man stunned doctors when his head swelled after a trip to the beach. We have never encountered such a case before. This is according to the medical specialist, Dr. Abdullah Hagadel. And after excluding the causes of localized edema in the body, we decided that the swelling on the forehead of the patient was heat edema. And we started treatment for this. Okay, so in standard cases, heat edemas usually come from a buildup of fluids into the hands and legs by way of downward gravity. They are caused by expanded blood cells bought, uh, brought on by high temperatures. This is according to the University of Michigan. Wow. You know, I, I guess I never paid attention. So they said normally this happens to the hands and legs. But in his case, it happened to his head. All right. The whole thing is strange. So a hot day at the beach. And they said on that particular day, the nation was experiencing severe humidity. 
and serves as a shining example of the perfect conditions to manifest heat edema. So the doctor also came up with a rational explanation as to why Eric contracted the heat edema. Okay. So this happened when our patient was lying by the sea while he was wearing a hat that would have prevented circulation. This is according to what the doctor was saying. So uh, that's why it is an interesting case. We will publish this situation as a rare heat induced skin edema on the scalp at the National Congress. Now Eric is recovering at home and doctors believe his symptoms will be passing soon. He uh, granted medical workers permission to conduct a scientific study on his heat edema. Wow. So I guess a sun can cause a swelled head. Boy, you will see practically anything in these last days. And I mean anything. Mm-mm-mm. Well, y'all, you'll have to tell me what you think about this one. You know, in my lifetime, I've seen many conditions that the sun can do to people. And I work with some people that had some strange thing, ha you know, just happening from the sun. I even had a coworker that got sunburned driving. Okay, just driving behind the wheel and got a sunburn. So I guess anything can happen nowadays, but y'all tell me what you think about this man developing this swelled head just going on the beach. And they said he had a hat on. So I guess he was, because it gets hot in Turkey, you know, in places like Turkey. So... I guess even trying to put some kind of protection on, it just didn't seem to save him from getting harmed by the sun. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.